here mechanical hvac modeling heating and cooling load and can you see this word file yeah. yeah okay this tool is used for determining two parameters for hvac designing okay we use this tool heating and cooling load analysis here analyze and here is the option for heating and cooling load analysis so <clears throat> why we use this tool we use this tool for determining two parameters one is the cooling capacity tonnage okay how much cooling capacity of the machine will be required and how much air flow will be required okay cubic feet per minute how much air will be flow uh, how much air will be flow in a minute okay cubic feet per minute so next important point is before performing heating and cooling load analysis it is necessary to create spaces and zone first okay mm. so first we'll create the spaces and then zone okay so next is what is spaces the spaces contain parameter used for performing heating and cooling load analysis on the building these parameter used for performing heating and cooling load analysis place space in all areas of the building to achieve an accurate heating and cooling load analysis okay so what we have to do is we have to create the spaces first now we have the topic for understanding the spaces and its purpose okay, okay. so what is the purpose just to what is the spaces we don't know okay we, you don't know the spaces just like we have discussed the rooms now yeah okay similarly we have spaces for mechanical portion uh, rooms contain the basic architectural information such as the uh, wall finish ceiling finish okay but in spaces we contain the mechanical information like the electrical load requirement mechanical load requirement how much cooling capacity will be required in this in that space how much air flow will be required in that space okay so um, room is similar to spaces but we have different parameters for room and different parameters for spaces okay let me show you one space yeah one thing that you have to do after linking the model is select the model now if you are creating the spaces now it will not uh -huh. take the yeah. boundaries okay it will not take the boundaries so for that you have to check the room bounding how to do select this model go to this edit type okay edit type there is the option for room bounding check this one apply click okay so when you select this one now it is taking the boundary of the room na okay okay so uh, must it is the same like uh, rooms right La yeah same as room but okay. having different parameter well, let me show you so suppose this uh, this is we having space so you have different parameters for electrical lighting calculation ceiling reflectance wall reflectance electrical load and mechanical flow return air flow specified return air flow okay and the space type what 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 is the kind of space type is a hall is a office you can determine the people's load electrical load okay construction of the building means the u values okay u values means okay. and the thermal resistivity thermal resistivity of the wall these walls okay okay so walls are similar to rooms okay let me control that this we'll see how to place the rooms and next is you can read this one uh, note rooms are architectural components used to maintain information like wall finish floor finish base finish ceiling finish and other identical parameter about occupied areas whereas spaces are for mep discipline okay here you can uh -huh. see the difference spaces are for mep discipline and contain the parameter which are useful for designing of mechanical electrical and energy analysis discipline okay okay so the topic for to do here understanding the spaces and its purpose okay so the purpose is for accurate cooling and heating load analysis next is placing spaces so how to place space. the space go to this 
now you are in the flow plan of hvc na hvc flow plan okay. so first go to this analyze tab here is the option for space okay select this one so now it is asking for the upper limit okay so the upper limit is 0 to okay so when you have specified the upper limit make the offset to zero okay now we have two options for placing you can manually place this yeah yes here upper upper limit to two floor means this is the second floor no no upper limit means wait wait this is the upside uh, no no wait i have created a section here go to the section okay. yeah this we have created na okay yeah upper limit means up to which height you want this flow okay okay 0 to means the height of this space okay so one thing is you can manually so automatically select only the rooms right yeah yeah so, so you can you first mm -hmm. yeah prakash uh, and doubt yeah i just want to understand it automatically selects the room size only if you want we can extend it or yeah yeah you can extend okay so uh, so first we look you can place the spaces manually and next option we have the place automatically okay so if you one by one place the spaces on the whole floor it will take a lot of time now so we have the option for place spaces automatically let me control that this first and do now so place space automatically will be used where the floor floor height throughout the building is same yeah. okay okay if the floor yeah. height is not same throughout the building we cannot use the place room automatically so select the space specify the upper limit specify zero here now select place space automatically will show you 34 spaces created automatically okay okay close this one so understood how to place you can place it manually also and with the help of the tool called place place automatically so each and every each and every area okay each and every void or each and every space will be uh, Provided with the space tag, okay. Okay. So uh. next is 